Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, we're going to get into uh, this weekend actions, FA and Jog, but we're going to get into that and, uh, you know, talk about that performance, the good, the bad, the ugly in, in, in that. Um, got to straighten out Verge, got to straighten out Oscar too. Um, we're going to get into that real quick. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. A quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to our other uh, channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, Texas Boxing Scene, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery, so it's very near and dear to our heart. Um, but before we uh, – so let's get into today's show. Let's, let's – without any further ado, let's get into uh, F.A. Jagba uh, and his unanimous decision victory. I was not sure. Um, you know, Jogba was a guy uh, that, that, was, that was trained by Ronnie Shields, who's also on the wall. Ronnie's up there somewhere. I don't think you can see him. Um, there, you can see him. Right there. Uh, Ronnie Shields is uh, he was trained by Ronnie Shields. He got off this sensational start, right? He looked like PBC had him hyped up, they were building him up to be the next great heavyweight, like he was gonna be this killer with one punch power, but was also a high volume puncher. He looked fantastic. He had people walking out of the ring before the fight started. Then, ipso facto, here we are now. Um, and, and you know, he, he was more hyped than substance. Not that he's not a good fighter, he's a good fighter. Uh, but I, I don't think there's, you know, there's another level to him. You know, he's 17 and one. Uh, he's got two straight wins now uh, since joining up with uh, Top Rank. You know, he had the bad loss, the one side loss to uh, Frank Sanchez, um, and uh, since then, you know, he's picked up two two wins. Neither of them real impressive. Uh, well, he, he had a blowout win um, on a Top Rank card in, in Oklahoma um, just a couple months ago. Um, he was out of the ring for 10 months or so, and then he fought again in January. Um, he just fought now against Shaw, and boy, I mean, like, he won. I, I had him 96 94 on my card. That's what all the judges had, too. Did anyone have Shaw winning? Um, it, it was just, I mean, this fight was tough to watch. You know, look, a judge but one, okay? A, he needs to get back with Ronnie Shields immediately, and B, he's just not it. Like PBC did a great job of hyping hyping him up, but there's no substance. There's no more substance. Like he can blow out bad heavyweights. Okay, he can. He can absolutely blow out bad heavyweights. That's not a problem. Not a problem at all. Um, once you start to take even small step up steps up, he looks pedestrian. If he fights good heavyweights like Frank Sanchez, he gets killed. Like it, 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 there's no action. It's just a jab. It's Joe Joyce with a little bit. It's Joe Joyce with a little bit more speed, um, but the jam's not as good. You know, like they, they were talking about making a fight with him and Joe Joyce. Please don't do that. For the love of boxing, please don't do that. That would be torture. That would that, be Chinese torture to watch. I mean, that would be cruel and unusual punishment. Please don't make that fight. Um, Ajag was not it. He, he can be a decent heavyweight, 15, top 15, top 20 kind of guy, but he can't get any higher. There's no, there's no skills there. There's no – if you move. And you circle, you can hit him. If you have any speed or any kind of footwork, you can work angles at all, you can hit him. There was never a sense of urgency. If you press him, can he deal with that pressure? It doesn't seem like it. Just pressure him. Just, just you know, just come after him, throw a shot at him, you know, f- force him to go backwards. All he can do is, you know, and then it, it's mechanical. Like, th- there's nothing to it. Um, 
it, it, Sure could have just put some punches together and just won that fight on volume. Like, a jog <laughs> didn't throw too many punches of consequences. Sure was letting some nice hooks. Put something behind. Just put pressure on it. He could have won that fight on volume. Like, he needs to go back and look at that tape and realize, like, I gave this fight away. Like, I, I think a jog would won. But Sure gave it away. Right? A jog wasn't putting punishment on him. He wasn't landing big shots. Like, there was no reason for Sure not to press the axe. It wasn't like he was eating big shots every time he tried to. Just pick up the pace, make him uncomfortable. Like, I, I mean, I, it seemed like Ajago was trying to give the fight to Shaw, trying to give it to him. And Shaw was like, nah, bro, I don't want it. You you win the fight. And I, I thought I thought he won. I, I had 96-94. Um, did anyone score for sure? Anyone at all have it for sure? I, I like to know that. Um, I, you know, I don't think it's unreasonable, but I, I, I didn't score it that way. Um, the judges didn't either. But sure had some good moments early. Um, but they, like I said, he basically gave the fight away by not doing anything. And again, it, it, he could have just circle in the wrong combination, just make him work, make him uncomfortable. It, it was frustrating to watch. And you know, like I said, Jaguar was a guy, yeah, really, really high hopes for. You, know, you go back, he, he had a window with Jonathan Rice, uh, Razvan Kajanu. Is that you know, that was the Barclay Center? He had a you know, Amir Mansour, a name. Nick Jones, a name. Undefeated guy at that particular time. I think that was a PBC card, the Nick Jones fight. Um, yeah, that was the Brandon Figueroa at Escudon fight. Um, but, I mean, but you see how, like, given the right opponents, given good matchmaking, you can make a Jagba look like the next Stone Cold killer. <laughs> Clearly, he's not that. Clearly, he's not. And, and you know, it, I thought he was good. I thought he'd probably be a little higher than this. I, I, I thought he, but I, I never saw what they were trying to hype us up with, and 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 that's evident now. And you can go back, you can listen to the tapes from 2019. And like, he's not it, man. Like, he's not bad. He's not it, and that's that's kind of come to pass. Now, where do I think we go next with this? Maybe Guido Vianello. Like Guido, look. Look, Guido's not good either. I, I never got him. I thought Guido sucked. He looked better than th th this Guido that we just saw. Guido Vinal, the Italian hero, who I was supposed to like. I, I gotta like this guy because he's, he's my fellow Paisan. He's not that good. But I, I thought this was his best performance. I don't think he's ever going to be a top 15 heavyweight. So I think Ajagwa beats him. But uh, I mean, I think that's a possibility. Um, do you want to feed him to Jared Anderson? Is Ajagba a, a, a big enough name now where you can feed him to Jared Anderson? Or would that not do anything with Jared Anderson? I mean, that's where we are with Ajagba. Um, or, or I think Joe Joyce. I, 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 for real, for real, I think Joe Joyce is going to happen. It's just That's going to be torture. That's going to be brutal to watch. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Did you ever buy into the Ajagba um, hype? Did you think that he was going to be the next killer when, when PBC was, was pitching him to us and, uh, you know, Curtis Harper was walking out the ring? Did you guys believe in him? Did you think that he was he was the good? Been, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, quick hits comes to you every day, 8, 10 minutes a day. Please follow 3D Boxing on all social media. Please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, it is January 15th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. And we're going to be back real soon with a uh, episode about Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn made some comments. We're going to get into that. All right. Peace. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.